So we finally have our first look at Bill Skarsgård as the Crow in the upcoming Crow remake. And boy, oh boy, this has the internet in an uproar. Now, I know that fans are willing to speak out against the nonsense that Disney is doing to Star Wars and Marvel. But I was kind of surprised by this response because it's just become so tiring. They're ruining so many franchises. They're digging things up from our childhood and they're crapping all over it. And I just wasn't sure if people had the energy to really show up to defend the original Crow. But, hey, they do. Apparently, there's a lot of passionate people who are very passionate about the original movie, and they don't want it ruined or trampled on. And I understand it. I understand where they're coming from. Now, listen, I have no problems with remakes and reboots. There are some good ones, mostly bad. But I don't mind people giving it a chance, you know, maybe trying to introduce a new generation of people to a certain franchise or what have you. But The Crow, it just really feels like a movie that was not in need of a remake or a, re a reboot. You know, in, in the current state of Hollywood, it's not like they would ever be able to do this, this movie justice anyway. And of course, the tragic death of Brandon Lee. There's just many reasons why this movie doesn't really need to be touched. And I think this first photo of The Crow is a perfect example of that. Now, when I was a kid, <laughs> I'll go ahead and admit this. There was a, there was a whole, there was an entire portion of my childhood where I thought The Crow and Sting from wrestling I thought they were the same person for a very long time. It wasn't until I got a little older that I realized, oh, this is Bruce Lee's son. You know, I was born in 1991. So when the original movie came out, I was just a, a, a wee lad. And I didn't really get to watch it until later years. But when looking at the original Crow and looking at Bill Skarsgård as the Crow, let me go ahead and put this out there. I have no problem with Bill Skarsgård. He is an amazing actor. I think he did a great job with Pennywise. I think that he's capable of playing this character. But when you look at the character, it's not doing it for me. I mean, I know the obvious comparison is that this looks like Jared Leto's Joker. But I mean, it just really does. And when you think of the original Crow... And when you think of that time period, you know, there was something organic, dark, edgy, and grungy about it. Like when you look at the original Crow, you probably think, well, man, this kid probably, or this guy probably had a terrible childhood, probably had a dad that like was an alcoholic and outed cigarette butts on him, you know, some real breakfast club type ish. And then you look at Bill Skarsgård. He looks like a poser. The only thing he went through as a child is his dad maybe refused to buy him a dress. Maybe wouldn't address him by his correct and preferred pronouns. It doesn't look like someone dark, edgy, and grungy. It looks like a complete poser. It looks like a stand-in for your average you know, angry at the world, trans school shooter or something like that. That's what this basically looks like. They totally messed up the look. And they did so by trying to... Uh, it's tough to put in words. It's really hard to explain, but I know there are thousands of people out there that know where I'm coming from. When you look at this photo... It looks like a perfect representation of a lot of the mental illness and a lot of the just complete softness and weirdness of today's society, all like mashed up into one person. Whereas you look at the crow, the original crow, he looks kind of badass. 
You know, he doesn't look like this, whatever this is. I don't know what it is, but every time I look at this photo, I can't help but think of like Matthew Lillard. Like if Matthew Lillard, Jared Leto's Joker, and Vince Vaughn's character from Dodgeball all had a baby, this would be it. And I don't want to judge the, the movie too much off of one photo, but I can't get excited about anything that Hollywood is doing right now. I can't. Fool me once, fool me twice, fool me three times. They're not going to keep fooling me, getting me hyped up for movies that I know are going to be terrible. And The Crow, like I said, it's something that should have been left alone. You can see that Hollywood is really starting to creep into some interesting places to, to destroy some franchises that they really don't need to put their fingers on anymore. Like when we get to the point of them destroying the crow, it's like, you know, they're really, they're exhausting, you know, themselves at this point. Like, like how much further can we go with the message that they're trying to promote? But I will say this, the crow kind of looks like a perfect victim for the current Hollywood agenda because they want to normalize and popularize and they, they want to make it seem cool to have mental health issues, right? They want depression to be cool. They want more kids and young adults confused, depressed, angry, sad possibly willing to take their own lives. They want stuff like that. So the crow almost seems like a perfect vessel for them to try to further push this message. So you already know, without even having to see the movie, that they're going to inject all of that stuff within this film. They, they can't help themselves. If they go so far as to try to push weird stuff in cartoons like Blue's Clues and the new X-Men 97 reboot, then what do you think they're going to do with something like The Crow? Oh, the agenda is going to be all over this. It might not be the feminist agenda that we're used to seeing from Marvel, but it's going to be a different type of agenda. The normalizing and the making it cool to have mental health issues and to be depressed and dark and lonely and sad and what have you. But we'll see. I may give the movie a chance. I don't go to the theaters as much as I used to. I doubt I'll go to the theaters to see this. But I'll give it a chance. And if it's good, I'll let you all know. But for now, I wouldn't get my hopes up if I were you. But let me know what you think about the... um photo. Let me know what you think about all of this down in the comments below. While you're down there, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and I'll talk to you all soon in the next video.